All right, so I'm going to do a quick video on riveting the handles onto the shields. For the actual shapes, I talked about it just a little bit in previous videos, but I like to do like a little bit of a, um, a handle shape. This one's kind of big, um, but that'd be perfect for somebody with larger hands. This one we made kind of small. I mean, it's totally up to you how you want to do this. I find that having that, that little bit of a... Um, a bulge in the center there it's much easier for you to hold it in your palm and be able to move the shield back and forth so it's going to make it really easy to manipulate as you're uh, fighting as you're training to be able to control the shield as, as best as possible as far as the rivets this one we had some issues with not having rivets long enough so we did not put washers on the back kind of dangerous but We'll see how well it works. The wood itself is red oak, so it'll be pretty strong wood. Hopefully that'll hold up just fine. If not, we can always fix it and put a new handle on. With this one, we did put the rivets uh, through washers first. So we got a washer on the back just for added stability and then a washer on the front. You can measure it however you want. There's really no right or wrong. I usually do about it's probably about three inches from the edge, and then that's about four inches from that one. So, I mean, just space it out however you want. Um, if you follow me right over this way, uh, we have the handle ready to put on. The boss itself went on differently than how we wanted it at first, so it's gonna be kind of close to these two rivets to make it go perfectly vertical with the design that's on the, the front side of the shield. So I have the dots already marked, about three inches there, about four inches there, and then the same on the other side. I'm gonna drill the hole, and then what I'll do is I actually have, let's see if I can get on it here. I'll drill the hole, and then I actually have a nail that's long enough that I can put through the hole after I drill it, and just kind of hammer just gently into the shield so you've got your place marker for where the holes are gonna go. Drill the holes, and then once you do that, you're ready to rivet. So you can see the uh, riveting, riveting process is the same that I did on the, on the uh, boss that's already done. Um, I guess I can record that so you can see that too, but this is pretty simple, pretty simple stuff. So I'll go ahead and drill all the holes. I won't do that on screen, and I'll show you what it's like once it's all done. All right, so final video update on the riveting. Um, as you can see here, I'm starting to rivet. Uh, too close. As you can see here, I'm starting to rivet. Um, the, uh, the rivets here to put the handle on. The rivets are kind of difficult here. The hardest part is because the there isn't the, the giant plate of metal that isn't going to move. The washers do like to, to bounce around a little bit. So you can see I don't have a whole lot of metal sticking out. You can see that there. I don't have a whole lot of metal sticking out. So when you put the, the washer on, again, your, your, the metal that's sticking out is really only just a, maybe a centimeter, a couple millimeters. It's, it's really not uh, a whole lot. Uh, so what I usually like to do, if you can, um, you can get a pair of pliers and you can hold down the washer with a pair of pliers. You could do it with um, uh, a flathead screwdriver. There's a lot of different things you can do to kind of hold that washer down. If you try to do it with your fingers, you are probably going to uh, whack your fingertips there. Uh, I'm going to do it and whack my fingertips just because I enjoy the pain. But you have the washer and really all you need to do is just slowly rivet just enough to get the the rivet to create a lip over that washer so it doesn't move and that's what I've done on this one right here is it's not fully riveted down but there's just enough of a lip that the washer isn't going to move out from from back there so you're not hitting very hard taking it nice and slow and look at that I didn't hit my finger so that's good but that's all I've done is I've just I've just pushed the metal around just enough so that the washer doesn't move. And you can see there's still some wiggle room there, so I'm going to rivet it a little bit harder and get it to fully 
um, fully rivet, fully mushroom out, and, and the washer won't move at all. But that's, that's pretty much it. Now, if you're having a lot of trouble, um, it could be because the canvas is sticking up a little bit. You can take a flathead screwdriver and kind of push the canvas down or take a knife or a box cutter and cut around the fabric. That might get the, the washer to lay down a little bit uh, better. But for right now, that worked pretty well. Um, as you can see, it just took a few hits, a few hits, and that got the washer to lay down flat. And there you go, now that washer ain't going nowhere. Now the main thing you want to make sure you check while you rivet the handle on is check the actual handle itself and make sure there isn't a gap. Oh, there we go. Make sure there isn't a gap. Make sure that you fully have attached the handle to the shield. There isn't a gap and, and if the rivet isn't sticking out far enough that might be the problem there might be a gap you might need to uh, mess with some of the canvas closer to the hole where the boss is just check make sure everything's good so far it is totally flush there it's perfect so I'm going to move on to the next rivet And once you're done putting the handle on, if you want to touch up the paint again, you totally can. As you can see, uh, you might be able to see, um, there's uh, definitely some hammer marks there. Just a little bit of touch up paint and then totally takes care of that. Well, the dog is outside, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, but that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm just going to attach these two rivets and then we're done. And then from there, the last step is just oiling the shield, oiling the handle. Um, oh, there we go. Oiling the handle and uh, the rawhide, and then this guy is completely done. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching, guys.